What's going on, everybody? Hopefully, you guys have been having a pretty good week. And I ran across a video, and it's one of them really could be reaching way out there videos, but I'm going to let you be the judge on to it. This here, I'll give you the background, was an eBay break that was done in a private Facebook group who has like 30-some members in it. So they're brand new at breaking. It is a retail product. And I want to say it was like three retail blasters of prison football. The guy does open up all the boxes on the camera. And then what he does is he takes the packs and cuts them like open, like pre-opens them in a way to where it's supposed to be quicker or something like that. I don't know. I did that stuff on thicker card packs like Upper Deck Black and stuff just so that, you know, there wasn't extra stress on trying to open the packs up. But doing a prism is kind of different. Never seen anybody do it that way. But, hey, each their own, you know. Never really will complain onto that. But what I want you to do is watch the video and just see whatever you see onto it. And then I'll tell you guys what to uh, watch it again a second time, what to look for. I think I got that all out right. <laughs> all right, give me a second to pull this up on the screen. All righty here. And we're off. Start off Miles Boykin. Josh Allen. Chris Godwin, Super Bowl champ. Alrighty, so as you can see, and I forgot to put some of this other tidbit of information out as well too in the beginning of it all, uh, I I am not listing the person's name or the very group or nothing like that because like I said, everybody can come to their own assumptions of it. The guy taping this was in the break, so what he had to do was Go into the Facebook group and use a cell phone to tape it. Hence, that's why you see all that stuff on the screen, it moving around. So don't really base it like not all the products on the table and all that stuff because we don't know. We have no idea before or after. This was just a piece that was shown on it. So I wonder how many people actually caught what everybody's talking about. Unless you've seen this video already, you know, which, you know, is out there surfacing. What I want to do is I'm going to rewind back. Uh, all right, this is where he's talking about Josh Allen. All right, when he stops and he's holding those two cards, I want you to look at the unopened pack of cards. The tops have already been cut off them, so he can, I guess, easily go in them. Look at the number four. Look at the number four. Josh Allen. Super Bowl all right, you guys should have caught. I'm trying to pause it on all these screens here. So if you didn't catch it, go back and look at the number four in the pack. I'm going to close out this other window now real quick. My computer is jumping all over the place. All right. So basically, when you're looking at that, the number four, like, jumps up at you, right? Like there's an invisible ghost or puff of air or... I don't know, something comes in there. I don't know, something something comes into it, you know. And, you know, it's been discussed about that he could have possibly paused the video. I don't know how you would do that, and I've been breaking for a long time. But I guess if you're using your cell phone to do it, you can hit a pause button or something. I, I don't know. So, you know, some people are out there saying it's a, a witch hunt because of all the bad that's going on out there and people just trying to find anything that looks close to be a scam. I will semi-agree with that because, you know, now people are being more aware, aware, there we go, aware, and cautious out there. 
because you don't know who you're getting into a break with with everybody just coming up wanting to break everything known to man, you know, out there. So, I I don't know if it's a scam or not. That's why I'm not labeling this as a scam. You just be your own judge. What I want to talk about more is, you know, everybody's out there to me, and I don't think, you know, people yelling at people saying it's a witch hunt and stuff is wrong. You know, everybody's going to have their own opinion. Unless you got to see the whole video, which was not done, I could see the guy paused there with him talking and everything, but, you know, I, I don't know. If there was a pause in the video, how long was the pause for? There, there's a lot that you just don't an can't get answered right off the bat because the break took place, I want to say, at like 12.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or something like that. It was real late. So I don't know how many people actually watched it. Nobody's really come forward saying they watched it and there was nothing wrong with it. But with the number four popping up, you know, a lot of people have had a lot of questions now because of that, which is understandable. You know, there's been a lot of bad things that have gone on and people, you know, are out there trying to look to make sure, you know, their hard-earned money isn't going to be thrown away because of a scam. I personally... Unless somebody's really computer savvy and was able to figure all that out, I, I'm not. And I know there are a lot of other people have, and everybody has their own pieces that they're putting together onto it. You know, until somebody shows me how you can pause it, I mean, there is that flicker and everything like that. To me, you can see reflections in the shadows, the hands still there moving and all that stuff in the same spot. You would have to have like a two or three person show to hurry up, do a switch, and see what's in the packs. And I don't know how you'd even want to go through the other packs that quick to look. But, you know, people are just really cautious out there in what's going on. And that's why I didn't really want to come out and be like, hey, this is a scam on this. You just be your own judge on to what you think offhand. You know, everybody's on different sides of the house on to it. And I can see both points of view onto it. To me, I would lean, I don't think it's a scam offhand. I mean, it could be a glitch in the software. Everybody who's been a breaker knows about these glitches in softwares left and right. And it's just insane whenever it happens, you know. It could have just been something as simple as that. Um, I haven't seen a guy say anything onto it. And I read through like, I don't know, I think there's like a couple hundreds of comments on there. You know. And I just had to see it. I figured I'd bring it up to let you guys see offhand. Other people were out there doing, you know, good stuff, trying to make sure people are legit and everything like that out there. Um, you, you really can't base it off of somebody using their cell phone, taping the video, because you don't know how wide it actually really is as well, too. So that's why I said, like, take that out of play and, you know, come to your own conclusions on to it. The guy has like a 20-something eBay rating, I can tell you that. And there is a negative now left because of this video. But I mean, honestly, it's Prism Retail. I mean, why would you even do some kind of scam onto it? I don't know. But I mean, some people are desperate in desperate times, too. But please, I mean, put your whatever you guys think down in the comments. That's why I pretty much left the name out so we don't all go out blasting the person and stuff like that there until somebody can actually go through and get more proof onto it. But it was just kind of funny. The Ford just jumps up out of nowhere. It could be a glitch. I, I don't know why a pack would just pop open like that out of nowhere, even if you pre-cut them, unless it was somehow stuck in, I don't know, maybe a fan or air. I don't know. That goes into too much science and stuff like that for me. But figure I'd share this with everybody out there, take a look at. Um, everybody's always doing the right thing, you know, trying to look to make sure that what they're buying or getting into is being done correctly. And then also I've now noticed a lot of breakers are actually being a lot more cautious too on, on camera too, which is a good thing overall. You know, both sides should feel, you know, good about the way the break goes down, just not the buyers, but also the seller make sure that, that video and everything is good too. All right, everybody, I figured I'd share this with you. Like I said, let me know what you guys think and stuff like that down in the comments section. I do appreciate everybody's support on the channel. This is just something a little bit different to throw out there. Um, 
if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I always forget to say that in the videos, but I'm pretty sure everybody realizes uh, if you're not a subscriber, you should be hitting that subscribe button by now. But all right, everybody, take care, have a good week, and I will see you all later.